Hello everyone, Keith here. Uh, if you remember in a previous video, I showed you guys how to get the current playing song overlaid on your OBS stream. Well, in the comments, a developer of a uh, separate utility uh, sort of reached out to me and requested that I do a video on his uh, little neat little script. Um, so the difference between, the main difference between this and the previous video is the method used to grab the song information and display it on stream. Uh, but that is the same purpose of this video, it's to show you guys how to play music that is currently playing and overlay it, the title and information on your stream. And much like with the plugin I showed you guys in the previous video, this application does also work with album pictures. So anyway, yeah, the application is called, it's done by someone named a fox named Morris, um, and the application is called Grab Song. Um, it's a little shell script you see here. If you look at the uh, GitHub page. I'm going to send a link to both the GitHub page and the OBS project page for this uh, little bash script. Uh, it's a pretty neat little script. I I'm, This should work on Mac. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but it definitely works on Linux. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice little shell script. Really uh, good bit of scripting done here. Uh, basically, what it does is it runs. Uh, you run the shell script and it gets information from a media player that's playing locally on your machine and sort of spits all the information out to the file. You know, it gets the, the title, the artist, all that and puts it in a file. So it's similar to the previous video where I showed you guys how to do that, but the previous video I used a uh, plugin for Firefox that only worked for when you're playing web content. So like for instance with that plugin you, have, you would have to go to YouTube or you'd have to go to Pandora, something like that. This, on the other hand, is something that runs locally on your machine, so it gets information from stuff that's playing from your media player. Uh, this could be cool if maybe you're a music producer and you have all your music saved onto your hard drive and you just want to play it through a media player and then, you know, you don't want to use anything web-based. Um, or if, you know, you're tired of clicking on YouTube all the time when you start up your stream and you just want to download a playlist into a file or into a folder and then just play it with uh, VLC, like make a playlist and just play all of them um, and then just tell Grab Song to get the information from there. Uh, so this is just a really cool alternative to using a web-based uh, application. So anyway, yeah, there are two ways to get this excuse me, there are two ways to get this um, program. You can either get it to, through the GitHub or the way I recommend is through the OBS project page because on the OBS project page you just click download now and it downloads it. Now uh, when you download it, it downloads a zip file and then you unzip that zip and then this shell script is in there. So anyway, yeah, uh, when, I'm going to go through a couple of options with you guys. Uh, for instance, you have to actually run the shell script with a command. Uh, so instance, we're going to go into apps here. I'm going to make this bigger first off so you guys can actually see it. So we're going to go into apps. We're going to go into grab song. You see here, that's the shell script right there. Let me go ahead and highlight it for you guys. So yeah, you just do dot slash grab song and then the media player, you're going to be using to play your music. Um, this supports Pythos, which is a, a Pandora client that runs locally on your machine, Audacious, Clementine, VLC, and a Spotify application. Um, so yeah, anyway, you just do grab song and then you do the command, you know, the media player you want to use. You just hit enter, and then when you start to play a song via VLC, the information will pop up. Now I'm gonna. Now that's all uh, nice and dandy. Um, now of course, once that's going, it generates it all to a text file. You come into OBS here, and you just go down to add. You, if you've seen the last video, you know exactly what I'm doing. You want to add text name it whatever I recommend grab song sh uh, you know select your font whatever font you want to use your strikeout your underline whatever you want to do and then you just click read from file browse and uh, now the shell script actually puts the information in the same directory that the shell script is uh, let me for instance I have it in apps so if we go to apps grab song master it saves it in the output directory and with same place the shell script is, but in output. Um, and by default, now this is the interesting thing where you want to read the options, because by default, Grabmaster will put out uh, the information, it will spread the information out in different files. So you have a file called songtitle.txt, and you have a file called songartist, whatever, um, and you would have to read from multiple of those files to get the information, which is, I don't personally like, 
So what we're going to do is, first off, we're going to kill the application. And uh, if you look at the documentation, it gives you a bunch of formats. I highly recommend setting one line to true. In my opinion, this just makes it a lot easier. And the way you do options is pretty simple. It's just a variable, so you do one line before the execution of the program, or I think you can do it after, it doesn't really matter. Just do something like that. It's that simple. Um, true or false. And another important thing to notice is the one-liner format. This is the formatting of it. Uh, do you want it to display artist, album, title, or do you want it to do, uh, you know, album, title, artist, however you want to do it. Um, I, you know, I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Uh, let me just copy this here because I'm lazy. I'm just going to do that. You're going to want to put single quotes like that around the information. Oops. We're going to run artist title like that. That's the information I like to display. I like just displaying the artist and title. Uh, and then you also have verbose, which I also like having just because I like information. So we're going to do verbosity true. Yeah, so it's pretty simple to set up actually. Uh, then you know you go ahead and then we run that. There you go. And then actually it will display differently now, uh, of course. And then you know it's pretty easy to change. You just kill the script, add it, dash i. There you go. Now you're also displaying uh, the album. So yeah, pretty easy. Pretty easy. Pretty simple thing to do. Um, but one trick, one thing that you need to notice. We see here. Now that it's um, now that we tell it to display all in one line, it saves it all in song info text. So you know it's different than the rest of them. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's displaying. Now one issue with this, let me just do this real quick, is if we start to add a scroll effect to this, things kind of bug out. So let's go ahead and go into filters here. Uh, this is the same issue I had scroll. This is the same issue I had with the Firefox plugin. You'll see it. But if you notice, when things start to scroll, the last character and the first character sort of merge. Merge. This is an issue I had with uh, the Firefox plugin as well. Fixing this is pretty simple. Um, you just want to go ahead. Where's that displaying? Okay, right there. You just want to go ahead and uh, first I'm going to kill it. And then under the one liner format, variable or yeah one line of format variable at the beginning of it you just want to add a bunch of spaces so this way the last and the first have spaces between them so they don't mer merge like that it looks really ugly so yeah then there you go now you have a nice bit of space between it. and of course you just add tons and tons of spaces if it doesn't look right for you you know you just add as much spaces as you uh, need to to make it look nice see here that looks that looks all right but we can add a bit more and make it look a little bit better um, it also does images, so there you go. Uh, it stores the image. Get off the preview. It stores the image and not filters. Ah, that's where it stores the image. It stores it uh, once again in the same directory as the uh, executable, but instead of saying output, it's in images. I also have config here, which I'm not sure what that's for. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so that's me showing you guys how to use Grab Song to display locally running music on your OBS stream. Thanks to developer for reaching out to me. This is a very cool utility. I think I will use this in the future to play uh, music that is locally saved on my machine and give, show you guys what's playing. A really nice application. Thank you guys for watching.